Sephora has a list of 200 bestsellers on their website. Today, I'm gonna to share with you what I think are the top 40 from that list. So we're gonna swatch them, test them, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why I think these are the best from their bestsellers. So I don't have any makeup on to start. We're gonna actually work our way into what will hopefully be a nice cohesive full face of makeup by the end of this video. So with that said, we're gonna start with skin prep. And two of the products that were on the bestseller list at Sephora on their website, one was the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, if you know me, you know I'm not a big primer person. I don't rely on primers necessarily, but I do like to have good primers in my professional makeup kit and just in my collection for when I feel like I need it. So prime example, if I have a long day, let's say I'm gonna do a full day shoot or let's say I'm gonna attend a wedding or an outdoor event where I want my makeup to last from beginning of makeup application in the morning till late, late at night before I wash it off to go to bed. If that's the scenario that I'm in that I will grab and I will rely on, a primer to at least help keep my makeup on longer. One of the ones that is on the Sephora top sellers is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I do agree with this. I'm gonna pump just a really small amount, and I'm only gonna use this in the areas of my inner T-zone. Now, this is where, you know, when it's hot, or if you have a long day, or if it's humid, if you're in the elements, or if you just need your makeup to really last, putting it in the T-zone or any of the areas of your face where you have larger pores, that's the areas that tend to produce more oil throughout the day too. So if you are an oilier skin person, this primer is gonna help. But also just in general, if you want your makeup to have something to grip to for longevity, this is a really awesome primer for that. Now, full disclosure, I did not like this primer at first. When I first used it, I used way too much of it. Like way too much. I felt like, oh, it has like this nice, like kind of silky feeling to it. That means I can kind of apply it all over. No. So less is definitely more with this primer. It is very gripping and in my opinion, if you want like a really long lasting primer, this is a great one to pick up. Definitely worthy of being on their best sellers list. I can see why it's a really awesome primer. Now this next product is not necessarily gonna keep your makeup on longer, but it is gonna give you a beautiful lit from within type glow. It's gonna give you some extra moisture and it's also gonna give you some sun protection. This is SPF 40. It's the Super Goop Glow Screen. Now this one is the shade Golden Hour. Golden Hour is by far my favorite. There's two different ones to pick from. There's one that's like more of like a light, very light champagne, almost has like a pink, slight pink undertone to it. And then there's this one. This one is much more um, golden. It's great for like, if you have medium to deep skin tones, this is a really great one to use. Let me show you what this looks like on. And this is definitely worthy of being on the top sellers list. So this is golden hour. This does have a tint to it, like a slight tint to it. And the way this gives you a soft, luminous glow under your makeup, it's just fantastic. It's something that I always have in my makeup kit. Now you do have to be careful with this product though. I will say there can be an issue with pilling with this sunscreen. Now, if you, depending on like what you layer it on top of, if you put just, let's say way too much moisturizer, like a thick moisturizer, or let's say you put a hyaluronic acid serum that's a little bit more on like the sticky side, that will ball up, that will pill. In my experience, I've had this happen many times. So I've had to kind of learn what this product works well with and what it plays well with and what it doesn't play well with. So once you know what to pair it with, you're good, you're golden, as, as this would say. Like, you're definitely golden. But this is absolutely worth the money, worth the hype, and worth the investment. It's a beautiful, beautiful way to protect your skin under your makeup and have that lit from within type look. Definitely worthy of being in the top sellers list on Sephora. This gives you that beautiful glow. Another product that is on their Sephora bestsellers is well worth that spot. It's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I know there are so many other lip CP masks that have come on the market since this one was first introduced, but I will say I have just a sweet spot for this one. This one's still my favorite. And on that Sephora list too, there also was the Fenty Beauty Plush Pudding, which I do love. I love that one. It's fantastic. It's just as good, okay? But I'm a sucker and I love the OG one. And this one is just one of my favorites. This one's actually Mango and Mango. Between Mango, Vanilla, and Berry, I love them all. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of the Laneige sleep masks and they will last you for an entire year, at least, honestly. They last so long. I'm just gonna take a little bit with a Q-tip and apply this as my lip prep. So these are not only great for like, of course, a nighttime sleepy mask to condition your lips. You'll wake up with super soft, super hydrated, moisturized, just juicy lips. That's of course the whole point of this. It's, a, it's meant to be a nighttime treatment for your lips. However, I use this in my pro kit. This is my tried and true, ultimate favorite way to prep my client's lips. I get this on their lips 
before I do anything else. So like I'll do a little bit of like cleansing, a little bit of skin prep, like moisturizers and things like that. And I'll finish it with this and then I'll do the entire makeup application while this is soaking in. And by the time I'm done with that makeup application, their lips are so conditioned, they're so moisturized. Their lips, it looks smoother. Their lip liner goes on smoother. It's just the ultimate way to prep your client's lips if you're a makeup artist. But more importantly, prep your lips with this. It's amazing. Okay, now next up on the Sephora bestsellers list was another product that I had to include. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It is a viral product. It is very hyped up. It's very talked about, but I think for incredible reason, like for good reason, it definitely deserves all the hype that it gets. This product is beautiful. It's like skin transforming in a bottle. It really is. Like I have utilized this product for so many years now. I've used this in my pro kit for since I've been doing bridal, like which I was doing bridal full time for a long, many, many years ago. I always use this, I always relied on it and I always will rely on this product. Now this has been duped so many times since it's become more popular because it's been around for a really long time. I feel like people just kind of slept on it for years, but e.l.f. did dupe this product and they did a really, really amazing job. However, I will still always continue to use this one in my pro kit because I just know it and I trust it a little bit more. So I wear the shade 4.5 and I decided to, the bigger bottles as a makeup artist, okay? This is not for like everyday use, but as a makeup artist, having those big bottles in my kit and carrying multiple shades is a little too heavy. So I switched out and I have only the minis in my pro kit and it's been life-changing, honestly, because I don't use them for every single makeup application and they're cheaper. So like when I run out, it's fine. I just refill it, no big deal. But the reason why I did this is because it just takes up so much less room and weight in my kit. And also for me personally, it's nice to like just throw this little mini size in my bag, do my makeup on the go, and it's just a nice little cute little size. So I prefer the minis personally. However, on the Sephora website, they did list, of course, the full size in their bestsellers. So let me show you how I use this product. So this one is mine. So I'm gonna apply it directly to my skin. So I like to use this more as like a pre-foundation illuminator. But the best thing about this product product is if you put this on first, like prior to your actual foundation, you will end up using so much less foundation because this does give you a decent amount of coverage. For being an illuminating product, it will actually give you some coverage. So depending on like what you need, like what kind of coverage level you need, if you're someone who just needs like a medium or like prefers like a light to medium coverage, then you'll get a good amount out of this product. Now, if you're someone who loves a full coverage, then I actually suggest you switching the order in which you apply this and you put this on top of your full coverage foundation and it will give your full coverage foundation the most beautiful, glowy, skin-like finish. It is truly, honestly, transformative. So apply a little bit more to the top of my forehead and onto this side, even though I'm testing out a ton of different products and tons of different foundations. Let's just get this on. But this by far is a standout product and I think so worthy of being in the top sellers. I mean, look at that, it's beautiful. It just gives you this beautiful, soft radiance. Not in like a glittery way, just like a beautiful radiance to your skin. Love it. Okay, next we have quite a bit of complexion products that were in the Sephora bestsellers. I pulled my favorites from that list and I think, in my opinion, these are the best foundations that are sold at Sephora. Like these are the best. I have four different formulas. All are fantastic. Let me show you in different areas of my face what they look like on. I am gonna start with the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. If you know me, you know I love this foundation. If you know me at all, you'll know that I love all these foundations. And you'll definitely remember hearing me talk about many of these foundations. So I'm gonna pump out just a little bit because I'm only gonna put this in a small portion of my face so I can test out the rest of them for you. I wear the shade 230 Light Medium Cool. I'm gonna apply with my BK Beauty N17 brush and the lighter fiber side. And let's just get this on. This lays beautifully on your skin. To me, this is like a perfect satin finish, medium coverage foundation that's buildable, it's skin-like, it's just a really impressive formula. I mean, look at that. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful coverage. You can definitely build it up, like I said. I feel like this is good for all skin types, so whether you're oily, dry, combo, somewhere in between normal, you have no skin issues at all, or if you have skin issues, I feel like this is a fantastic formula to check out. And also, they have a huge, huge shade range, gigantic shade range. It can be a little difficult to figure out what your shade is with this formula, so just forewarning. But this formula is such a standout for me and a standout alone in 2023. I feel like this was like the best foundation that came out in 2023. So that is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I was not surprised to see this on the Sephora bestsellers. I was also not surprised to see my old tried and true favorite that is still my personal favorite in my pro kit. This is the Armani Luminous Soak. 
I wear the shade 5.8. 5.8 is like a almost a perfect match for my skin. So I'm gonna take a little bit of 5.8. I'm gonna pump it on my hand. I'm gonna switch out my brush to a clean one. So using a clean N17, I'm just gonna dip into that luminous silk. And let me show you what this looks like on my forehead. Now the thing about luminous silk is I know it's pricey. I know it's an expensive formula. Trust me, I get it. I am constantly buying refills for my pro kit because I go through this foundation very, very frequently, like more frequently than I wish because it's, it's like I said, it's pricey. But to me, this is absolutely worth every penny. The other thing you'll notice, this is like the mini size. Again, keeping with the theme of like trying to keep things lighter in my pro kit, buying the minis of these and the Hollywood Flawless Filter have been a game changer in just the weight alone for my complexion bag in my makeup kit. Like this has saved me so much room and so much weight. But also I like the minis too, just for like my personal use when I'm traveling. It's just easy to pack a mini with you and they're cheaper. So that's another bonus. So the reason why I love this foundation, I've talked about this so many times, is it is so undetectable. It's so skin-like. I mean, it really just gives you gorgeous, juicy, glowy skin. I mean, it's really, honestly, it works for everyone. I've even used this on so many oily skin clients on a regular basis. So depending on how you prep the skin, anybody can wear this foundation and anybody is going to love the way it looks on their skin. It's gonna work for, I mean, I've never met anyone it doesn't work for. So. There's a reason why I keep it in my pro kit because it works on everybody that I come across and it could be someone that I've never done makeup on and I know this foundation is not gonna disappoint me and it's gonna look beautiful on anyone's skin. So happy to see this in the top sellers. Definitely is in my top 40 for a good reason. It is like one of the best foundations, period. Speaking of amazing foundations, Dior newly reformulated their backstage face and body. I've talked about this a lot, so I'm gonna kind of spare the details on why I think this is a really great reformulation because I have really talked about this a lot. So to keep this a little bit quicker, we're gonna get right in. I'm gonna show you what this looks like on. I wear the shade 2.5W. So this foundation is one of the most beautiful, natural, again, buildable coverage foundations out there. But this one in particular, it's extremely long wearing. This is actually a sweat resistant formula. So I always have this formula in my pro kit as well because there's days and clients and situations where you need that makeup to be somewhat waterproof, but more importantly, sweat proof. So if you're in a hot, humid climate, this foundation will not disappoint you. It is fantastic. The other thing I love about it is the fact that it's long wearing, it's high performance. So it's amazing if you're a makeup artist to have in your kit, or if you're just someone who has long days and you need your makeup to be high performing and to stay put. But the best part about that is it's high performance without feeling heavy or or cakey or like old school pancake makeup-y. So it doesn't have that old feeling to it. It has a super lightweight feeling. It is incredibly easy to blend on your skin. You could be so terrible at blending, but you'll find this so incredibly easy to blend on your skin, I promise you. And they also have an incredible shade range in this formula. So I can't speak highly enough this is such a fantastic, fantastic foundation. And also you don't even need that much. Like you can just use a small amount and it will give you the most beautiful amount of coverage, but you can also build it up. These last me so long in my kit. So these are like the never ending bottles. I love that about Dior and it's not even a big price tag. I think these are only $44, which is not bad in comparison to both the House Labs and the Armani Luminous Soak. So there's definitely a reason why this is in my top 40. The last foundation that I want to talk about that was also included in the Sephora top sellers was the NARS Light Reflecting. This is a newer one for NARS. It's like the newest formula that they have that they carry. This is a beautiful foundation. However, I don't think this is great for oily skin. Hear me out. It just gives you a little too much glow in my opinion. But if you have normal to dry skin, very dry skin, mature skin, you should definitely check out this formula. This will give you such a beautiful glow to your skin. Very easy to work with, very easy to blend onto the skin. I wear the colors to heal. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to just kind of layer this on top of my forehead where I don't have much makeup. The only thing I will say about NARS is their undertones are very limiting. So I wish that NARS would just kind of step it up, switch up their undertones. They need to add some more cool tones in addition. All their shades in the range are extremely warm undertone. So if you're not a warm undertone person, you're trying to find that perfect match in NARS, it might be a little challenging. I'm just gonna warn you. So maybe that's something that NARS will work on in the future, who knows? It would be nice if they did because it's just very limiting and it's limiting for me, like who I can put this foundation on because they don't have that many shades. But back to formula. Formula and finish, it is a beautiful, soft, glowy foundation. 
I don't feel like it's the most long lasting out of the three that I just showed you previously, but it still will last you a long time. It's not gonna like slip and slide off your face. But if you are really oily, consider using a little bit more powder to set this and lock it into place and maybe a little bit of setting spray to really lock it in as well, or even a teeny bit of primer to just kind of give it some grip. That is the last foundation in the Sephora Top Sellers for good reason. It is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It's just beautiful. They're all beautiful. They all feel amazing on your skin too. I'm gonna show you some of the top selling bronzing creams. So these are all bronzing sticks. They're cream formulas. These were on the list. There are a couple others that were on the list as well, but in my opinion, these were by far, by far the best. So the first one is actually the oldest one that's been on the market. It's the Fenty Matchstick. I love these. I keep these in my pro kit. They're really easy to work with. And these are a really amazing formula if you have oily skin. If you're more afraid of like using a cream bronzer because you feel like it's just gonna add to that glow and that oil production throughout the day, don't be afraid of this formula. This one stays put really well and it has more of a matte, like a satin matte finish to it once it's blended on. So I wear the shade Mocha. I'm gonna use a little bit of Mocha right on the side of my face and I'll save the rest of these for other areas of my face to show you but I'm gonna blend this out with my N15. So Mocha is a great shade for me, but Fenty, obviously, you know, they have every shade you could ever want or need. So they don't leave anyone out. And so they're like really the OGs when it comes to making sure that they have every single shade range available for anyone. And for that reason alone, they should absolutely be included in the top sellers. Like this is just such a fantastic formula. And the fact that they do have such a broad shade range. I mean, come on, nobody, nobody did that for a long time. So they're really the first ones to do that. The other one that I am loving, I love this formula so much. It's so easy to work with. It's crazy. It's the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick. I wear the shade Happy Soul. Happy Soul is always in my to-go makeup bag. It's always traveling with me. It's always going somewhere with me because it's so easy to work with. It just never disappoints. Like I said, if I wanna grab a cream bronzer that I know is gonna blend effortlessly, like minimal effort. Literally, I just go tap, 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 and it's done. I grab this. Color-wise, it's a perfect shade for me. It's a great bronzing shade. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's like a really perfect neutral, to be honest. But shade aside, it's just such a fantastic formula that's so easy to work with. It just melts into your skin. It is long lasting. I do like to layer it a touch. So like, I'll kind of go back over and add another layer just to build up the intensity. But this bronzer is just such a standout product from Rare Beauty. They did such a great job with this formula. So I'm happy to see it in the Sephora bestsellers and I had to include it in my list. The last cream bronzer that I'm gonna test out and share with you is from LYS. If you know me, you know I love this cream bronzer. LYS is a really amazing brand. They have amazing shade ranges, just amazing products that are really reasonably priced as well. So this is the No Limit Cream Bronzer. I wear the shade Harmony. And I'm gonna apply Harmony right here. So you actually get a ton of, st of product in this too. Like this is never ending. I've been using this for a while now and I feel like I'm never gonna run out of this product. It is extremely pigmented. So out of the other two that I just shared, this is by far the most pigmented formula wise. So the color payoff, it could be a little intense. So you have to like just use it sparingly. You just need a really small amount depending on like what kind of look you're going for. So even this is gonna actually be a lot of product to blend out. So color payoff is by far the best out of the three. Formula wise, it's incredibly easy to work with. It blends on really easy. It just blends out really easy. There's no patchiness to it. There's no inconsistencies with the formula. It's just a standout cream bronzer. So I'm so happy to see that this was in the top sellers had to include it in my top 40. Okay, let's move on to concealers. These were pulled from that list of 200 products. I had to place these in my top 40 because they are fantastic concealers. First one, no surprise, very, very old school. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I wear the shade Honey. I have loads of these in my pro kit. I will always use these and stock these in my pro kit. It's a fantastic concealer. So let me show you a little bit of NARS Honey. Let's pop it right here. Now I have quite a few other concealers to share with you that were from this list. So I'm just gonna tap it in. The coverage is beautiful. It's very buildable. And this is actually, to me, this is a selling point. Okay, so one of the things I love the most about this concealer is the fact that this is one of the only concealers that I can actually go over top of set makeup. So like, let's say I have a client and I'm touching them up throughout the day, which is like a very common thing. 
and the areas that I touch up the most throughout the day is usually around the nose and around the mouth. And that's after their makeup has been set, it's been locked in with powder and setting spray and all those things. This is the one concealer out of very few that I can actually put on top of set makeup where it doesn't look cakey. It glides on and melts back in. It reworks the makeup. This is a magical concealer. It's on this list for a very good reason. And of course it's a bestseller, right? It's like a classic formula. So can't go wrong with this one from NARS. The other one, is more of a new favorite. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Concealer. This is a shade 22 light medium peach. I'm gonna pop this just right here and show you what this looks like on. So House Labs does not disappoint when it comes to complexion products. You know I love the foundation. We talked about that, we applied it. The concealer is just as amazing. The thing about this concealer is it is so easy to work with in my opinion. Like it feels really nice on the skin doesn't look heavy, doesn't feel heavy. It's like a very undetectable concealer, which I really appreciate, but you can also build it up. So first swipe of it, it's actually not that much coverage to be quite honest compared to like other concealers, but you can build it up and make it a much more full coverage if you want to, or you can make it really nice, light and natural. But the way this feels on the skin and the way it performs throughout the day is honestly such an amazing formula. They did such a great job of this one had to include it in my top 40 for good reason. This is just a fantastic formula from House Labs. The next one is one of my personal favorites. It has been for since it came out, which is I think was in 2022. It's the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This is literally a filter for under your eyes in a concealer form. It's fantastic. So I'm gonna apply this one and I love the doe foot. I love this applicator. I'm gonna apply this going straight out towards my temple. And I'm gonna blend this one out with my N14 brush with BK Beauty. This concealer literally gives you the smoothest, smoothest, flawless under eyes or anywhere you place it. So let's say you're using this in like your T-zone to like highlight or you're using it like anywhere on your face. It will give you such a smooth, beautiful, very filtered look to your skin. I think they did such an amazing job. This is definitely one of my top five concealers in general, not just from Sephora, but just in general. I mean, look how that blends in. It's soft, it's radiant. The coverage is amazing, but without looking heavy or, or feeling heavy. So it really is just, you have to try this concealer. Honestly, this is like one of the best concealers to launch in general. The next one is a favorite of mine that I use in my Pro Kit. I actually don't have one of these for myself. I need to go out and pick one up. But this formula I've used in my Pro Kit for many, many years, and it's probably the most flawless, full, full coverage that you can get. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. Now this one's not mine, this is in my kit. So I'm just gonna swatch a little bit on top of my clean hand. Um, this is the shade Pearl and I'm gonna take my N14, dip into it, let's apply it just right here. So, I mean, a little bit goes a very long way with this formula. It is like incredibly, incredibly full coverage but not in a heavy way, like I said. So if you just take a little bit of this, depending on how much coverage you need, a little bit of this goes a very long way. This will last you a really long time. Or if you need that full coverage, this will give you that instant satisfaction with also a smoothing, very airbrushed, flawless effect. So you just really get like perfect skin in a tube with this concealer. I mean, look at that. It's just an incredible, incredible formula. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more and just swipe it along the side of my nose. Like absolutely one of the best concealers that money could buy you is the Hourglass for sure. Now this next product is a little bit different. It's not quite a concealer, it's an under eye brightener. However, I think it's totally worth it that it made it to this list. I think it's very valid that it made it to the top sellers. It's the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. I have the shade Light Medium. These are a fantastic product. I think this was a fantastic launch from Rare Beauty in my opinion. I got so many people interested in buying this and once they did, they were like, oh my God, you're right. This is so pretty. I love the formula. It feels so nice under my eyes. This comes with like a metal applicator. This is not gonna be a full coverage, okay? So this is not gonna be your one and done concealer where you just put this on and you don't need anything else. To me, this is better suited for like your days when you're wearing minimal makeup. Let's say you're wearing a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream, or maybe you're not wearing any complexion products at all and you just want something quick and easy that's gonna help to brighten your under eyes bring life back to that area and give you that well-rested look while being undetectable. So this doesn't look makeup-y under your eye. It just looks very soft, very natural. It does give you coverage. Like you'll see this does give you actual coverage, but it's very, very thin and it doesn't look heavy under the eye. So if you're face to face with someone and you really don't wanna look like you have makeup on, but you wanna have that brightened effect and you wanna look really flawless and just 
well rested under your eyes, you have to try this. Like this is in the top sellers for a reason. And I think this is one of the best products that Rare Beauty has come out with in general. Cause look at that. It's beautiful. Well worthy of being my top 40 of Sephora best sellers. Now the last concealer that I have to share is also from NARS. So it's the second concealer from NARS that made it to this list. This is the soft matte concealer from NARS. It's the shade Tiramisu that I wear. Now Tiramisu is what I use to spot conceal correct any redness, discoloration. This is what I use to cover up any pimples that might pop up. Anything that I need to cover on the outer part of my face, not under my eyes. I do not use this formula under my eyes. I don't think it's the best formula to wear under your eyes. It's a lot more heavy, which you'll see in a second. It's a thicker formula, right? So this is meant for like heavy duty concealing. So anywhere you need like a full coverage, quick fix, this concealer will, will have your back. It's really honestly fantastic. I actually had burned my forehead on a, with a curling iron just recently. So I had a dark spot right here, like a dark little scab. I use this to cover that up, gone in a second. And it's very long lasting, it doesn't move. It's incredibly easy to work with, incredibly easy to blend onto your skin. It's just a fantastic full coverage matte concealer. So I'm gonna take this and I think I'm just gonna pop a little bit. I'll just do my chin just to show you. So. You can either tap it in with a brush or you could tap it in with your fingertips. You can use it any way you want. It's so easy to work with. I'm actually taking a little bit more on the nose. And this is genuinely one of the top places and reasons why I use this too, like I said, to touch up. So throughout the day, if I have allergies and I need to just touch up around or near my nose, this product is what I grab. I always travel with it. Um, it's also a really great eye base too, to be honest. I love this formula to just blend onto the eyelids. Let me show you a little bit. It's quick, it's easy. You would then just lock it in with a little bit of translucent powder, put your eyeshadows on top and boom, you're done. So that is the soft matte concealer from NARS. Definitely had to be in my top 40. Next up are two liquid illuminators. These are both some of my favorite formulas that Sephora has or carries. This is the Glowgasm Beauty Light One from Charlotte Tilbury. Classic formula, can't go wrong with it. This is an amazing liquid illuminator. And the other one is from Rare Beauty. I feel like this one does not get talked about enough. This is a really great liquid illuminator and you get so much product. So let me show you what both look like on before I get too close to uh, powdery in my makeup application. So I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty one first. Now this one's a little bit light for me. It's in the shade Enlightened. I'm gonna pop it on the top of my hand, just like that. I'm gonna take my N14 brush and just tap away. They're really easy to work with. You could also tap this on with like a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. You can mix it into your foundation to add like a luminosity. They're really versatile products to work with. They're highly, highly pigmented. So you don't need a lot. Like a little bit goes a very long way, but look at how beautiful that is. Again, one of Rare Beauty's best products in my opinion. The other one, Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. This is in the shade Glowgasm. I also love Pillow Talk 1 and Pillow Talk 2 are my absolute favorites from this collection. This is a new one. I'm just gonna try this one out instead. So the only thing I don't like about this product is I don't like the sponge applicator. I don't like how messy these are. You push them out. They can be very, very messy. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I'm gonna dot it on. I'm gonna tap it in, but the finish this gives is so beautiful. It also makes for a great topper too. So like once your makeup is on, it's fully set, you can go in with this product and dab it in certain areas to bring that luminosity back to your skin, especially if you have a full on set makeup with lots of powder. If you dab this back on top of the high points, it really brings like that life and that luminosity back to your complexion. Love these. They're a pain in the butt. I hate the tube. I hate the packaging, but I love the product. So definitely worthy. Okay, next up, let's get into some blushes. Two of my favorites from that list are Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blushes. These are incredibly pigmented, very viral, very popular, but for really good reason. And the other one is a cream. This one's from Merit. This is a newer favorite of mine. This is a really great blush, like really great natural formula easy to work with. Let me show you what both look like on. So I'm actually gonna start with the Merit one and this is the shade Cheeky. So I'm just gonna take my foundation brush, dip into it. I have seen people just swipe this across their cheek. I don't like to do it that way. It just kind of disrupts my makeup and it leaves too much makeup on the actual blush. So I don't like to do that. So, so I'm gonna tap it on, but this blush is just, like I said, it's really easy to work with. It's very natural. It gives a nice glow to the skin. It works with a lot of different foundation formulas. It's not patchy. They have some really beautiful shades too. I actually want to pick up more shades from this line, but it's just a great blush, really easy to work with. And I love the packaging. I think this is so convenient. It's so small and compact. And I love that it's round. You can just get your brush, 
dip into it and you're done. It's quick and it's easy. And it's a really great formula. The other one, the Soft Pinch Blush from Rare Beauty. I have so many of these shades. I think I'm gonna put Happy on for this look. Let's take a little bit of Happy. Now with these, just like the highlighter, just like this, it has a doe foot applicator. They're very, very pigmented, like incredibly pigmented. So just take a small amount. It's actually too much. Just taking a really small amount, smaller than what I just showed you. And I'm gonna dip into it. I'm gonna fully saturate my brush and just kind of pre-blend it onto the top of my hand. This is the best way to apply this blush in my opinion. Otherwise it could be pretty difficult if you just kind of dot on your skin and then try to blend it out. It could be really, really hard to just blend all that pigment into your skin. So this is my more foolproof way of applying this. So it goes on smooth, it doesn't ruin anything and it doesn't disrupt your makeup underneath. But these blushes are just such a staple in my kit as a professional makeup artist. I can't live without these blushes. I think they're fantastic. So worthy of all the hype. Such a great formula. They're long lasting. They have beautiful shades to choose from and it will last you, like this will actually last you such a long time. Like physically, you will not run out of this for a really long time. So in that regard, it's a really great buy. Okay, we're gonna move on to powders. I have some powders to share. I actually have lots of powders to share. So three different loose powders. These are all on the best sellers. These are my personal favorites. Let me talk about these two first because these are my absolute top favorite two powders in general, sold anywhere out of, across the board from any makeup brands. If you ask me what my two loose favorite powders are, these are them. Givenchy Prisma Libre Powder, particularly the shade number three. This is my favorite for myself personally. And then the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Cupcake for me personally. These have great shade ranges. I actually have all of the shades in the Givenchy and I have a few of the Huda Beauties in my Pro Kit. I rely on these for smoothing, setting, blurring, and just giving the skin an overall airbrushed, flawless finish to their skin. I mean, it is like a fantastic formula. If you have any texture, if you have any fine lines that you wanna blur, maybe just kind of smooth away, you have to get these. They're also ideal for oil control. They do make really nice oil control powders, but the one that actually stands out the most for as far as oil control goes in a loose powder is the One Size Beauty. This one is really great for anyone who has oily skin. However, I don't think this is a great formula for anyone who has dry skin, so just keep that in mind. So great for oily, combo, normal, dry skin or mature skin, I don't think it's the best. I think that these two are much better suited for dry or mature skin, especially the Givenchy. Let's just go with the Givenchy first. I'm gonna take a small amount into my cap. I'm gonna grab my N14 brush, dip into that powder, and we're gonna set one of these under eyes. So the way this powder blurs your skin to the point where it looks like you swiped a filter on your skin. Like it looks like you just turned a filter on because it gives you an instant, soft focused, blurred effect. I mean, can you see the difference between this under eye and this one? It's so much smoother. The feeling of it, it is such a finely milled powder. It just turns into like nothing. It turns into like literally dust in the air. Like you can't even see it. Super lightweight, ideal, I think, in my opinion, and for what I've experienced using it in my pro kit, it's ideal for mature and dry skin. I think that there's nothing like this for drier, more mature skin, but anybody can use it. So with that said, it's great for that skin type, but anybody can use the Givenchy Prisma Libre Powder and be wildly obsessed with it like I am. So absolutely, probably the best powder money can buy you. The other one equally as amazing is the Easy Bake Powder from Huda Beauty. Like I said, I have the shade Cupcake. All the shades are amazing. I'm gonna take my N14, I'm gonna dip into the powder. Now, I will say it's something to note because I know this is important to a lot of people. I don't mind it, I love fragrance. This one is lightly scented. However, this one is quite scented. So that bothers you, it's just something to be aware of. There's definitely fragrance in this powder. I think it smells amazing though. It smells like cupcakes. So same thing, I'm gonna lock in my concealer on this side. This powder is also incredibly ideal. If you're someone who bakes, um, even if it's just lightly, this powder is ideal for baking the under eye or anywhere on your face. So smoothing, so blurring. It's mattifying, but not in a dull way, which I really appreciate. Okay, so now that my under eyes are blurred, they're set, they're smooth, they're flawless. I honestly, I cannot recommend these enough. I recommend these on a daily basis, it seems like, to all my viewers and people that reach out to me. I think they're the top, top tier powders. Another one, absolutely worth mentioning, but for different reasons. This is the One Size Beauty Translucent Powder. This is a great powder for like longevity, for really locking your makeup into place. Like, I mean, 
nothing is going to move it when you put this powder all over. Now, I like to put this powder on particularly with a powder puff. There's a reason for that. And let me tell you why. This powder is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier in texture than the last two that I just showed you. So what I actually like to do is just take a little bit in the cap, just a small amount. I'll take a powder puff. Now this powder, I will say I don't recommend and I don't prefer under the eyes. I think this is the best powder for like the T-zone and for the rest of the face, especially when it comes to like mattifying and blurring any kind of texture. This is a really fantastic powder. But for under the eyes, there's something a little too dry about it in my opinion. And just with, and with my experience of using it on clients, on set and on myself, I don't prefer it on the under eyes, but I prefer it anywhere else. So let me show you how I like to use it, which is with a powder puff. So I take the product just like that. I work it into the palm of my hand. Since this is like a thicker formula, I like to just really work it into the puff and then just press it into my skin where I need that mattification and that locking in kind of effect. So taking that, I like to go around my mouth to blur, to mattify, and then especially onto the forehead and the T-zone. So you can see once I set my T-zone and any of the areas of my face other than under my eyes, it just blurs, it's smooth, and it really locks your makeup in like nothing else. Like One Size Beauty has some very long lasting products, which there's one product that I'm gonna finish this makeup look with in a bit, but this powder is just, it's a really great powder. It is not for the faint of heart. It's a really intense powder. It can be a really intense powder if you don't use it correctly and if you don't use it sparingly. So just something to kind of throw out there. It's a beautiful, fantastic powder but use it wisely. Okay, so now that I've locked my makeup in, I can move on to powder products that are on this list of top 40 bestsellers. Both are from Dior. One is the 001 Pink Rosy Glow Blush. This is a beautiful blush. They have since come out with so many other shades. I don't have the new shades. I just have the pink one. This is the one that's on the bestsellers anyway, and I love it. I know, it's, it's, it's viral, but it's so pretty. There's just something so pretty about this blush. I'll show you in a second. And the other one, no surprise, this is like the best highlighter. I'm sorry, it's like a must have. If you're a makeup fan, you have to have this highlighter. Like the Dior Backstage Glow Palette is just perfect. It really is a perfect palette. It has every shade you would need for any different skin tone to highlight properly. It also has this beautiful pink shade, which I think works well as a blush topper. I'll show you that in a second. But let's first actually go back to the 001 Pink Blush. I'm gonna grab my N15 brush. I'm gonna dip into this just beautiful blush. And let me tap this on top of the Merit blush that we applied earlier. It's very soft. It actually has a very soft focused finish to it. It's easy to work with. You could build it up. One coat is also very like natural and soft, but you could definitely build up the intensity of the shade. So for that, it's like very versatile in my opinion. And it's compact, great packaging. It's just a great blush. It really is a fantastic blush. And now they have more shades, so even better. There's better shade ranges to choose from, which is great. The other product, the Glow Palette, what I like to do personally is just kind of swirl into these three shades. Tap off the excess and let me show you the glow. You can build this up. You can use it in so many ways. You can use this as an eyeshadow palette, as a tear duct highlight. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighting palette. And you don't have to mix them. You can use them individually. I also like to take a little bit of this lightest one and pop it on the top of my nose. Just for a cute little lifted effect. My other favorite way, honestly, of wearing this product is I love to take the lighter one too, or this one, this more champagne golden one. And I love to use this as a tear duct highlight. This one is always a go-to of mine. So you can really get so much use out of this palette. You don't have to use it just on your face. It makes a fantastic eyeshadow palette. Like I said, amazing for highlighting the tear duct, highlighting the lip. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, very well done palette. Next up are two beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Let's move on to the eyes. Let's create a nice little eye look. One is the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. This is a newer palette. It came out in the last like two months. This one is an old school must have. Like in my opinion, if you don't own the Master Mats palette from Makeup by Mario, I don't know what you're waiting for. This one, you will, it will never leave your makeup table, your makeup counter, your makeup bag, your pro kit. If you're a makeup artist, you have to have this palette. I'm sorry. It's like, it may seem a little boring because it's just a palette filled with neutral earth tones, but trust me, you need this for every look. It's just a fantastic, really well done, really well thought out palette. Makeup by Mario was genius to come up with this and he actually based all these brown shades and he actually based all these shades on skin tones, which is also genius because it just, it just makes sense. Like when you put these on, they just make sense. So I'm actually gonna start with this palette, okay? And then we'll probably add some like fun and some shimmer and stuff with the Huda Beauty palette, but I want to do like a base, a base look with this palette. So I'm gonna take my N13 
I'm gonna dip into one of my favorites, this one right here. It's a perfect, easy, neutral, transitional shade. So I'm gonna start this in the crease. Honestly, this shade is usually the foundation for all of my clients' eye makeup looks. I start with, most of the time, I start with this shade in the crease and then I go from there. But there's something about just creating that depth and that little bit of warmth and shadowing with this shade that works so well. But this is one of those shades I grab most of the time to start my eye makeup looks on my clients. So it's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just gonna start with the shade, build it up into the crease. You cannot go wrong with this palette, I'm telling you. There's just so many ways to use it. I've even used this powder right here to fill in eyebrows. It's an amazing brow color. You can do an eyeliner, you can do a wing liner, you can do so many looks with this palette. It's just a must have. There's very minimal to, if, if any, fallout with this palette. The formula itself is great. It's a little bit more on the dry side, but buildable, which actually, if you're a working makeup artist or if you just want something, if you want a shadow that you can build up progressively and not be too impactful, like right from the get-go, this is a great palette. I think that makes it more user-friendly in that way too, because you're able to build up a look rather than having to start with like a little bit because it's too, it's just too pigmented. So you have to like kind of start small and really keep blending. It's just easy. It's like honestly foolproof. So it's blending this all over. Take a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into one of my other favorites, this more caramel shade right here. Same brush. Just blend this right on top, creating more depth. It's just a fantastic, fantastic palette. So now I'm gonna switch my brush and use this in the same way that I love to use it, which is taking those same two shades and continuing this on the bottom lash line just to round out my eyes, frame them, and make them overall look bigger. So I just take that same shade that I started out with, with a smaller brush, and I blend it on the bottom lash line. And now dip into that more caramel, deeper shade. And we're done with this palette. We're gonna move on to the other best-selling palette at Sephora, the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge. This palette really is a showstopper palette. It is so beautiful. It's very well thought out. It may seem like it's not the most wearable because your eye automatically goes to those cool tone metallic silvers and these darker shades right here. But in actuality, there was so much good thought that went behind this because Huda put so many good warm tones and more neutral everyday mid-tone shades that you could pop in the crease to make these shadows a little bit more wearable. So like if you're intimidated by the metallics down here, don't be because there's plenty of neutrals and soft tones that are like more daytime appropriate that you could absolutely wear in this palette. So it's a very well-rounded palette. I really appreciate that, especially if you're going for like more of a smoky metallic palette. I appreciate that there's more like warm mid-tones in there as well that makes it more versatile and a lot more wearable and just more useful, right? Than having like a full-on metallic only palette. So more than likely, I'm gonna put a little bit of stand-up on my eyelids to finish up this eye makeup look, but I wanna swatch my favorite shade in this palette, which is the shade Maverick. Maverick is such a gorgeous metallic silver. It's unbelievable. I mean, it really is so stunning on. That is Maverick. The other one that is so worth talking about is Rebel. So Rebel is right next to Maverick. It's a chunkier glitter. It's a little bit darker. Look at that. They're so stunning. And then one more I have to show you is Strong AF. It's right above Maverick. It's like a slate gray. It's so cool. So beautiful on. This palette is really just gorgeous. You can do so many things with this palette. I absolutely love this palette. But for the sake of this eye makeup look, I'm feeling a little bit more natural, more neutral for this, this full face. So I'm gonna dip into Stand Up and apply it onto my actual eyelid. Great formulas in this palette. Like I said, the formulas are amazing. There's a unique formulas in here too. Like there's a cream hybrid, there's an actual cream black shadow in here that you can use as an eyeliner or a black base for underneath a smoky eye. And you know what? Let's have a little fun. Let's just dip into a teeny bit of Maverick. Just pop it right in the center, like a touch of a foiled look. Beautiful. Eyeshadow is done. I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. One of the most impressive black liquid liners that money can buy you is the KVD Tattoo Liner. This is a really old school formula. It's been around for a long time. It is waterproof. It's budge proof it doesn't go anywhere. Like it literally is a tattoo liner where it's not going to move. So I used to use this all the time when I did wedding makeup, like bridal makeup, obviously. There's a lot of tears. There's a lot of running, sweating. There's a lot going on. And this liquid liner is fantastic. So I'm gonna do a classic wing liner using the KBD tattoo liner. One eye is done, we move on to this eye. 
So one thing I want to mention is the only thing that's not so great about this liner is the fact that it is so budge proof and long wearing. So if you make a mistake, this is not a forgiving liquid liner. I mean, no liquid liners are forgiving when you make a mistake. You make a mistake and you're pretty much toast, right? But this one in particular is so hard to get off if you make a mistake. So please excuse how quiet it is while I get this liner on and I try and make them as even as possible. Okay, liner is done. It is a fantastic liquid liner if you want that longevity with your black liquid liner. They also make a dark brown, by the way, that I love. It's a beautiful, rich dark brown. But this is just such an incredible black liquid liner. So KBD tattoo liner is on and done. Now we get to move on to two mascaras. These are in the best sellers for a great reason. These are actually just two of my favorite mascaras in general. The Makeways mascara from Tower 28 is fantastic. Fan fantastic. But if you want like that va va voom and that drama to your lash, you have to get the YSL Lash Clash mascara. Fantastic formula. Very different mascara. So I'm going to try one on each side so you can see the difference. So let's start with the Tower 28 Makeways mascara. I love the wand on this. It's small. You can get in there it's not messy and it has a slight curve to it too. So you can see it has like a nice, it gives you like a nice lift. It could basically kind of like scoop your lashes up and push them up and give them a little lift and a curl. So I'm going to start this one on this eye. It's a very buildable formula in my opinion. And it's just a really great everyday mascara. It's an everyday mascara in the regard that it's not going to clump your lashes together. It's not going to run or smudge. It's not going to be like over the top, but it's going to give you beautiful, perfect lashes. So great for like a daytime, you know, going into the office kind of lash look. Whereas the YSL, you'll see in a minute, is like high impact, high intensity, loads of everything. That's about two coats finessed and worked in there. That is the Tower 28 Make Ways Mascara on this eye. And now let me show you YSL Lash Clash. Totally different. Also a very different wand. This is a very big wand. So if that's not something that suits you and you don't like prefer a bigger more dramatic wand that you might not like this formula just based on the wand alone. I love the wand, but you have to kind of slow it down, be a little bit more careful, a little more mindful when you're putting this on because it can get messy because of the size of the wand. So let me apply this on this eye. Another thing I want to note about this mascara too is it's one of those mascaras where I don't need to bother curling my lashes prior. It will give me a lift and a curl so quickly. I mean, this mascara really does give you everything, everything. However, the only thing, if I had to like pick something out that, that bothers me, it does clump a little easy if you're not careful. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so that is about two coats of the YSL Lash Clash on this eye. So once again, Tower 28 Make Waves and then the Lash Clash on this side. Totally different finishes. You can see, like I said, now you kind of get why I said this is more of a daytime, more of like a softer mascara, but still really great and impactful. And this is like your Vava Boom date night. When you really want to like show off your lashes and have high impact, this is your mascara for sure. Both are fantastic. Cannot go wrong with either one. Now, as you can see, my brows are already on, but two of the products are on the best sellers list and are also a personal favorite of mine. One I've used for so many years, I can't even count how many years I've used this in my pro kit. It's the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is a clear brow gel. Amazing for keeping your brows in place literally all day long. This is like budge proof, smudge proof. You can't move them. You can't brush them out after you put this in. Just forewarning, it's very, very strong. And then the other one is one of my favorite brow pencils. I actually have this one in my brows right now. So it's the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I wear the shade six. It's like a dark, more cool tone brown, but let me just kind of feather in a little bit more so you can see it has a very fine tip pencil to it. So it's very precise, just like the name is. You can get in there, be precise. You can draw on little individual brow hairs. You can really create a brow from scratch with this product. It's very long lasting too, which I always appreciate with a brow product. If you have more oily skin and you don't have much brow to begin with, the combination of those two things and like painting on a brow is just not fun. So this one is great and ideal. If you need to really fill in a brow and build it from scratch, this will be incredible and also very long wearing. It won't get shiny throughout the day. It won't move around. You know, like all those annoying things that happens when you fill in your brows from scratch. But it's a fantastic, fantastic brow pencil. And I will say, this one lasts me the longest out of all my brow pencils. So out of my Patrick Ta, out of my Kosas, this one is the longest lasting in terms of how many uses I get before I need to replenish it. Now to top it, the 24 hour brow setter, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this in my brows. I already have a little bit of brow gel in. We're just gonna kind of laminate them using the flat side of the brush, which is very convenient. It has two different kinds of bristles on each side to like comb through 
finesse work through the product, but it also has a flat side, which is meant to laminate and push your brows up and lock them into place. So it's really a genius product that I think has been copied. I've seen it copied many, many times since. It's an OG and it's such a great brow gel. You will not be disappointed with this one. We're on to lips. So I'm actually going to just blot off that lip balm and we're gonna get into lip liners. Three of my favorites are on this list. One is just my absolute favorite. This is like my favorite out of the three. It's the Make It Forever Artist Pencil. These are fantastic lip liners. I am fully stocked with these in my pro kit. I never do lips now without these in my kit. Like these are my absolute go-to. I grab these the most. The other one that I love and I've loved for years is the iconic Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. These are the lip liners from Charlotte Tilbury. They're very long lasting. However, these do get dried out at some point. Like if you don't put the cap on tight or once they start getting to like towards this part, like the bottom, they get really dried out, just a forewarning. But they're such a great formula that I don't care. I let it go. And then a new favorite from Rare Beauty, this lip liner from Rare Beauty, fantastic formula. I love the fact that you just twist it up. Now it does have a sharpener on the other end, so you can sharpen that tip if you want to. That's very convenient. But for me, when I'm traveling and I don't want to have to sharpen something, this is amazing. So... I think we're gonna kind of cocktail a little bit. Let's do a little bit of the Rare Beauty on the bottom lip line. These are very smooth. Like this is definitely not a dry formula. They glide on super easy. Color payoff is great. This is the shade Worthy in case I didn't mention it. So that is Worthy, okay? Now I'm gonna try to get both of these in without looking like I have too much lip liner on. So I'm gonna start with the Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever, my personal favorite and also just my favorite in my makeup kit. I am obsessed with this shade and this formula. So I'm gonna start with this one. I like to round out my cupid's bow as you probably know by now. Now this is a very classic like artistry type pencil, like very classic, very much reminds me of like the original uh, lip liners that you would get when you first started wearing makeup. Like it's a very old school formula in that sense, but it works. It's like a perfect pencil formula. It doesn't dry out quick. You can sharpen it. It's like an old school wooden pencil and I'm here for it. I love the old school wooden pencils so much. So color payoff is great. They're very blendable, but they do dry down after you apply them relatively quickly. So if you wanna blend it out to soften the line, you kinda of have to get in there and do it pretty quick after first applying it. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the last favorite pencil in this list and just kinda of go over it. And like I said, the only complaint I have about this pencil is the fact that once you get towards the bottom of it, like the end of it, like the tail end, it does get very dried out. So just a warning. Otherwise, they're fantastic pencils and they have a really beautiful shade range. Like their shades, all the shades from Charlotte Tilbury and the lip pencils are so amazing. They're so flattering. They're so beautiful. Now that we have that on, we have a lot more lip products to dive into. So I might not be able to put them all on my lips just to be totally honest. So let me start mentioning some that I might not use. So I'm thinking I'm not going to put these on. I've worn these a thousand times in all my videos. These are the Fenty lip glosses. So many of these were mentioned in the Sephora bestsellers, so I had to include it in my list too because these are my favorite lip glosses to use in my pro kit. I have so many, if not all of them, in my pro kit. They're my client's favorite lip gloss formula because they're not sticky. They're like the perfect texture and consistency where they're just thick enough that they last a really long time on your lips, but they're not too thick where they feel like goopy and thick and they have that uncomfortable like sticky feeling to them. These are just the perfect, like if there was ever a perfect gloss formula, these are it. Like this is the perfect gloss formula. They have so many amazing shades. I love all the shades in my kit, but the ones I use the most if off the top of my head are Glass Slipper, which is like a sheer pink. It's a great topper for any lipsticks. They're all great. You can't go wrong with any of these. Some are lip plumping, some are cream formula, some are just the original formula. Like this is the original formula and it's my favorite but these are fantastic glosses. Highly recommend them. Let me swatch just two of these so you can see like the different finishes. One's a metallic finish and one is just like a, a basic more cream finish. This is the Fenty Beauty Heat. It's in the shade Fuzzy Heat, but this doesn't have any shimmer to it. So you can see it's a great creamy base gloss. I mean, the it's just a fantastic formula, really. Like the way they go on your lips, the way they're long lasting, I can't recommend these enough. And then this one has more of a glitter reflect to it. It definitely has shimmer inside of it. Look how beautiful that color is. This is one of the shades I also have in my pro kit and I love this one. It's so beautiful. So one has the glitter, one is without, more of a creamy formula. Fantastic, fantastic glosses. Next up we have lipsticks. Now I have so many favorite lipstick formulas that I use both professionally and personally. 
These are one of them. These also just happen to be on the top sellers for Sephora and for good reason. These are fantastic, straightforward, very classic. Like when I think of a classic lipstick formula, these are one of the formulas that I think of. So Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. These are a bullet lipstick, meaning like they twist up just like that. Very old school, very traditional is what I should say. Now, there's not one Charlotte Tilbury lip shade, like lipstick color that I don't like. I love them all. I think that Charlotte Tilbury probably has some of the best shades when it comes to lip products available, like on the market. So many universally flattering shades, just so many beautiful shades. Oh my gosh, they're all so stunning. So the ones I actually have personally are Super Cindy, Penelope Pink, and Nude Kate. Now for this look, I think I'm gonna pop on a little bit of Penelope Pink. All the ones I have personally at the moment are very nude. I have other ones that are in my pro kit that I use all the time. Of course, I love Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk 2 is one of my also personal favorites. Supermodel is a favorite. So I'm gonna pop this on. Now this is more of a satin matte finish, which I love, but she has other formulas as well, other finishes to choose from. But ultimately, I really think you can't go wrong with any of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. They're just fantastic, fantastic formulas. So on top of that, I have two other lip products to share with you. They were in the Sephora bestsellers that I think are personally absolutely worth it. One is a newer favorite. It's the Candy Glaze from YSL. These feel so fantastic on your lips. I'm actually not going to put this one on because I'm going to save one of my personal favorites for my lip topper. So I'm gonna swatch this instead, but this is a newer shade. It's like chocolate something. I'll look up the name, I'll link it all below, but let me show you what this looks like on my hand swatched. So it's basically a tinted lip balm, very hydrating, very conditioning to your lips, very nourishing, gives a great color payoff unless you get the, the clear one, which I also love, like I said, but these are a fantastic formula. They feel so luxurious on your lips. They will not disappoint you. They feel honestly just so wonderful on your lips and the tinted ones are just so beautiful and simple to put on with like a little lip liner and you're done. So love this formula, but I am going to top this lip, this Charlotte Tilbury lip and all these lip liners with one of my personal favorites. It's the Dior Lip Maximizer. I held out getting these for a while because I just thought they were a little too pricey. Like maybe they're not gonna be worth it. Oh no, they're so worth the price tag, I'm telling you. These are beautiful on, they are a lip plumper, so you are gonna get like a little bit of a tingle, but it's not like a burning sensation. It's not too irritating. It's very, very mild, very manageable. If anything, it just kind of feels like kind of cooling and pepperminty. The shade Shimmer Macadamia is by far my favorite, but honestly, they're all beautiful. Every single one available is so beautiful. Let me show you what this looks like on. I am fully on board with this. I wish I had tried it sooner, honestly, because I feel like I was missing out, but this color and this formula is so nice on your lips. It's definitely pretty long lasting. It doesn't, it's like, it's not like one of those lip plumpers or glosses that just disappears, you know, within like a few hours of applying it. This stays put really well, feels incredibly nice on your lips. Definitely, definitely, definitely plumps your lips. Even my husband noticed it one time when I was first wearing it, he was like, your lips look bigger. I'm like, well, it is the Dior lip plumper, the lip maximizer. It really does work so well. It's, High end, it's pricey, but in my opinion, if you want to treat yourself to a really beautiful lip product that gives you like a plumping effect, this is definitely one to try for sure. Last but not least, it would not be a makeup roundup, a list of favorite products and best sellers if I didn't include setting sprays. These were on the list of top sellers. These are personally, in my personal and professional life, two setting sprays that I cannot live without. Like I will always have these stocked in my pro kit. These two setting sprays, in my opinion, are the best for longevity. These will lock your makeup in. It will seal it. It will keep your makeup on through thick and thin. I mean, these are so impressive at actually like delivering what they say they're gonna do. They say that's gonna keep your makeup on till dawn. And it really does. Like this will keep your makeup on through anything, through anything. It's amazing what this does. This one is also my favorite for longevity. It's just a slightly different formula. So this one's more of an aerosol. It feels like you're spraying hairspray on your face, whereas this one feels very wet, very traditional, like a MAC Fix Plus or an Urban Decay All Nighter has, has that wet feeling to it. I love them both. I use them both at different times for different clients, depending on what their preference and what their day looks like. But both are an absolute necessity, especially if you're a makeup artist. If you're doing bridal makeup or like long days on set and you need longevity to your makeup application, you have to have both of these. Not just one, but honestly, trust me, both. Both come in handy. I'm gonna set 
one side of my face with the one size and one side with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush. You're not gonna see a difference. I'm gonna feel a difference and I'll tell you what they feel like on. So let's start with the Charlotte Tilbury. You definitely wanna shake this one up. I love this one so much. Like I, when I tell you I, I drench my clients' faces with this product, I drench their faces to the point where I fan them off to dry it back off. <laughs> like they're like, my face is soaking wet. What did you just do? Like why just locked your makeup in? It is not gonna go anywhere. Unless you douse your makeup in setting spray, you're not doing it right. Just trust me. So I'm not gonna douse it because we're on camera and I don't wanna waste the product because after this, I'm just gonna go in my living room and not do anything. I'm not gonna party all night. I'm not gonna attend a wedding. So I don't wanna waste the product. So I'm just gonna go very mild with this application. One side is done. Feels nice, feels hydrating, feels very wet. I mean, yeah, it's just an amazing product. Honestly, it just helps with like creasing, melting, sweating, humidity, all of those things is gonna help with. But what I also, I will say, I had to point this out, I love about this product is when you go in with your makeup and you set it with a lot of powder, if you set your makeup with this and you spray this properly all over, this will give that skin-like quality back to your makeup after you've kind of doled it out with your setting powders and your all your powder products, that tends to kind of take the life away from your skin. This is one of those products that helps to bring back that life. It brings back that moisture and that more like glowy look to your skin. It takes away that powdery finish while also locking it in so it doesn't move. So you need it, you just need it. Last but not least, okay, this is the one that comes with a warning for me. When I use this on my clients, I have to tell them, listen, this is not gonna feel the most pleasant. It's gonna smell like hairspray. It's gonna feel like hairspray on your face. But if you really want your makeup to not go anywhere for a long time, just trust me. Also, you don't wanna open your eyes for at least five seconds, maybe 10 seconds after you put this on, just to be really careful. If you have sensitive eyes, don't open right away. Just don't do it. Don't get curious, don't open. So I'm gonna spray my face, shake this very well, like make sure it's well shaken and go to town. So hang on. It's definitely scented too, very scented. I don't have sensitive eyes, so I just open and I throw caution to the wind. And now that's the last step in this full face testing out all my top 40 best sellers from Sephora. Hope you all like this video. I had so much fun going through that list of 200 top selling products at Sephora and sharing my top 40 from that list. These are all amazing show-stopping products you can't go wrong with. They're so worth the money. I hope you enjoyed this look that I created using all those products. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Say hi to Barry and Tomas and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.